In this video, I'm going to show you how you can troubleshoot your Microsoft 365 on your Android smartphone. So if your Microsoft 365 Copilot app is not working or is malfunctioning, then let me show you how you can solve this problem. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use Redmi Note 10. However, this process should be the same on any other Android smartphone. Now to get started, you need to go and access the app information and we can simply do this through settings. So if you go to settings and then scroll down and look for apps, then tap on manage apps. This will open all the apps you have on your smartphone. Scroll down and look for the Microsoft 365 Copilot app. And as you can see, mine is here. Tap on it to open. Now you can see we have accessed the app information page that you wanted. Alternatively, you can access the same app information page by simply long pressing on your app and then tap on app information option here. And this will lead you to the same page. So from here, you want to clear the app data. If we go to storage, and look for the cached data you can see we have a lot of cached data so when you talk of cached data we are talking of small files that your app stores when you interact with it to enhance the performance however the accumulation of these files sometimes might cause your app to malfunction so to solve any problem with your app go ahead and clear this cache and you can do that by using the clear data option here and then tap on clear cache and okay and now you can see we have zero cache, meaning we have cleared all the cache data on our smartphone. From here, go ahead and restart your smartphone and then open it. And at this point, it should now be working fine. But if this did not solve your problem, then go ahead and look for the app under the Google Play Store and then look for any update. So if you open your Google Play Store and then look for the app, tap on it to open and look for any update if it is available. One of the reasons why your app might be malfunctioning is because you are using an outdated version of the app and updating it to the latest version will solve the problem. So once you're done, just go ahead and open the app and it should now start working fine. But in case this didn't solve your problem, then you might want to go ahead and uninstall the app and then install it afresh to solve any problem with it. At this point, if all this didn't solve your problem, then you might want to go ahead and conduct Microsoft 365 copilot to find out if they have a challenge or a problem from the end by using any of these methods you should be able to troubleshoot your app and then have it running smoothly if this video is helpful to you kindly hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to support me thank you for watching and let's meet in the next video